If you've just finished work and you're looking for a centerpiece to your dinner table super quick, this is a dish for you. Whole kingfish dory cooked in the wood oven. Have a look at this guy. Some people say I've got a big mouth. Check this out. Oh my God. Isn't that magnificent? So I'm just going down this collarbone here. I'm going to down the other side and then right up to the neck of the fish. And you can see I've just hit the spine bone there. So what I do is just get a cleaver. and just go straight down that spine bone there and then I'll turn the fish over. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, come down that second collar bone and then we should be able to just cut straight through because we cleaved it off. So that is gonna make the best, most delicious fish stock. So I want that, so I'm gonna keep it separate. Pair of scissors, so we're just gonna cut the fins off, first of all, and then we're gonna go up and inside. Now you get to the top and you won't be able to cut any further. So just get your cleaver, like that. Again, full of gelatin, so we're keeping them. With our fish, we know that it is thicker in the top than it is the bottom. So with the top, I'm gonna to score, and I'm gonna go quite deep down to the bone, and then as I come round, my knife is lifted, and I'm not cutting all the way through. And so I wanna fan my cuts out. Can you see that like that? This one little bit further because it's getting thicker here. We'll turn it around and we're just gonna do exactly the same thing on this side. Change your angle as you come around. And just hit the spine in the thickest part. So you can see now we've got a really beautiful, thin, gorgeous cuts. We'll set that on our tray, ready for the next stage. Tomatoes, I've got some semi-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna to chop a couple of them up just to make them a little bit smaller. I like a dish that you can just cook, throw in the oven, don't worry about it. You know, you've, everyone's so busy these days, but it doesn't mean that you don't have to have a delicious dish. I've got some capers here, little baby guys. Now, I've got some basil. Now, the other herbs that I want in there is some mint, just to add some summer freshness. Again, just tear it up. Parsley. Bit of Elvis parsley. A little bit of white soy. This is your friend, instant umami. It's the salt in the dish, so give it a good lick. Some extra virgin olive oil. Red wine vinegar is gonna add some acidity to this dish. And now I wanna jam as much of this as I can inside the cuts of the fish that I made. Just open those cuts and just ram those herbs and that flavor in there. Look at it, all the capers, all the tomatoes, all the herbs, get them in there. Look, look how good that looks already. Pepper, give it a good smack of pepper. We're gonna add a little bit extra salt, a little bit extra, extra virgin olive oil so we don't have any stickage. Then we're gonna flip it over. And now same thing again on the other side. Open up those cuts, just ram all of that flavor into those cuts. Yum. A little bit of lemon zest, just to finish it off. Oh, look at that. Was he excited? I'm, I'm excited. All right, straight in the oven. So with this, put the thick end next to the fire. All right, spray bottle. We're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil, and we're gonna add some of the white soy, which is our salt, if you remember. And we're gonna add some vinegar. So imagine it's just like a, a delicious, tasty dressing. It's pretty much the flavors that are on the fish already. Some lemon juice. And what I'm gonna do is use this to spritz the fish as it cooks. So I know that the top of the herbs and the top of the fish is gonna start nicely caramelizing and browning. And I wanna slow that down a little bit as the fish cooks. This is the perfect way to do it. Let's just give it a little spray and that'll stop any more sort of serious caramelization going on. But also, it's just gonna further season the inside of our fish and then pop it back in. Mm. Look at this. Woo. Let's just have a little sneak peek. You can see still slightly opaque in the middle where the bone is. 
and that's the way we want it to be because this is now going to sit here and rest for about five minutes while it's resting we want to get the citrus flavor into it citrus it's kind of like flavor of the mediterranean that looks amazing so now we're just going to get a little bit more of our tomato we're just making it look extra special extra beautiful a few extra bits of herbs and the smell of the fresh herbs torn over the top here is just going to accentuate what is already brilliant quick spritz and look at the difference it makes all of a sudden that just looks absolutely fantastic all over again one two three Now, what we have on this tray, you've got lots of fish juice, some of that. It is flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor. There it is, whole wood roasted King Dory. That is fit for a king. Thanks for watching, and if you like that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.